Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be having a chat to you about this 2002 Range Rover Vogue. It's done 167,000 kilometres and it's in particularly good condition. In late 2002 the L322 came out which is this series and uh, this particular car was built in September 2002. I used to actually have a black one and uh, it was built in the same month. Land Rover or Range Rover seem to change their minds a little bit. Um, I guess there's been a bit of an argument over the years as to whether Range Rover should be badged Range Rover or whether they should be badged Land Rover, Range Rover, etc. Anyway, in 2002, they were badged Range Rover. And like the original, it had Range Rover across the front. And uh, the good thing about the L322, which replaced the P38, is it looked a lot more like the original. If you look at the lines, the lights, the bonnet, they were basically trying to design it like the, the classic series Range Rover from the 70s until the mid-1990s and they did a very good job of it. In 2002 um, basically they were built on a BMW so it got the 4.4 litre V8 I think it's called the E53 engine for memory and it had the 5 speed automatic transmission And a lot of people were pretty excited that uh, you got the beauty of a Range Rover with all the beautiful Windsor leather, they call it, timber. Um, I think Range Rovers are quite literally the best looking four-wheel drive on the market and certainly the most comfortable. But you've got German engineering. Um, there were also, the other thing with the badge, which is also confusing, is it used to be called a Range Rover, and there was an SE, an HSE, and a Vogue. The Vogue was the top of the range. But then in, 2000, in late 2005, they got rid of the names and they basically called them all Vogues. So if it was this shape, it was called a Vogue. If it was the smaller shape, it was called a sport. Just to confuse things even more. So this is a proper Vogue, top of the range. It does have Windsor leather, which is nice and soft, but it also wears very well, as you can see. The Vogue came with navigation, electric memory driver's seat, a sunroof, heated seats, heated steering wheel, parking sensors. It had a leather dashboard. So you can see the stitching along here. And they really were and still are to this day absolutely beautiful. It's nice that this one has the timber inserts. For some reason a lot of people thought it'd be a nice idea to have black, you know, just black inserts or plastic. I don't know why, it's a Range Rover, not a Land Cruiser GXL. Um, I'll put the key in. The uh, suspension works perfectly. I took some photos of the suspension up and down. So you can see here, it's basically, actually I'll start it. I've got it in low range at the moment. So I've got the suspension on low. And I just put it in low range, so I was testing out the transfer case. So you can see here you've got low down the bottom there. I'll just turn that off. You put it into neutral, hold the button. There we go, high range. Um, you can see all the pixels are very good because they can fade over time. It's even got a stitched leather center armrest. Um, it has, it, that's the colour it came with to match the doors. It wasn't meant to have 
this color, which is basically like a mint green. It's a very nice color combination, I must say. I'll just put the suspension up to the normal setting. Um, suspension works beautifully. It goes up and down. Quite, you can just see the back just kicked up then. So it sort of goes front, back, front, back, and then it levels out. So it's that'll be pretty close to normal height now. So because that's going so quickly, I would say that the air compressor's probably been replaced in recent times. It's very original. That's just telling me that I've left the key in the ignition. It's got the original wheels, which I think were one of the best looking wheels on the L322. Uh, the back seat, quite literally, it doesn't look like it's been sat in. It's got the piping around all the seats. The Vogue came with, the Vogue was the only one which came with these seats where you can adjust just the top and I'll show you that. I believe they are made from, oh, I'll just take this key out. They're basically the same or very similar seats, the seven series. So with the button down the bottom there, you can just move the back section only. So if you can't get comfortable in a Range Rover Vogue, I don't think you'll get comfortable in anything really. Uh, it also came with Xenon lights, windscreen wipers on the headlights, which I think looks good. You know, to get windscreen wipers on your headlights, some years ago you had to buy a 450 SEL 6.9 or a 560 SEL. So for me, if you know, when a car comes with windscreen wipers on the lights, it means top of the range. Um, it does have a full-size spare. Um, it was sold new into the Upper North Shore Pimble, I believe, and I think that's where it's remained all its life. Its servicing all the way through has been done on the North Shore and in our Tarman at a specialist. So it's always been a Sydney car, which is nice. It's got tinted windows, which has probably helped keep this interior in such lovely condition. Um, I have driven it, and obviously I've driven a number of these, including the one that I had. Um, the V8 engine sounds fantastic. The five-speed transmission is silky smooth. It's got a nice big glove box. Six stack of CD, whether you'd use that or not these days, I don't know. And just everything works. You know, even the cup holder here works perfectly. For some reason, I think they get left out. Someone climbs out of the car, you know, puts force on it and breaks it, whatever. So it's been very well looked after, which is very nice to see. It's getting harder and harder to find Range, Rover, Range Rovers of this era with under 200,000 kilometres. We actually just had one come in. Um... Look, we're going to sell it from here. It's a few too many kilometres. It was in amazing condition. I drove that as well. Um, it had 355,000 kilometres. So this car, the 167,000 kilometres, should have a very long life ahead of it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the colour's called. I thought it was Boston Green. Uh, but basically it's dark metallic green. And the interior is two-tone um, beige or cream I should say it's more of a cream than a beige and like a mint green colour it's very very nice and it's got the piping as well and uh, this is a car which would suit a very fussy buyer I'm sending it to a Range Rover specialist locally just for a service and a check over um, but uh, just from what I've seen, it does seem to be a very good car. As I said, I've put it in low range, I've driven it, I've put the suspension up and down. Everything seems to work really well. The air conditioning is ice cold. And the wear and tear is minimal. It doesn't look like it's had a lot of people in and out of it. Like, how long ago? I sold mine probably three years ago. And uh, it was very well cared for. But, you know, there's still a few little marks and things. Like on the backs of these seats, that's literally just dust. We've just given it a quick wash with soap and water. Uh, these rubber Range Rover mats are fantastic. 
normally I don't like rubber mats in cars, so I think they look a bit tacky. But the uh, but Range Rover did it very well, Land Rover. A lot of these cars get a lot of wear and tear around here. So usually because of the keys, they scratch all this off. Um, you get a lot of scratches around here from coins and rings and things, but it's been very well looked after, which is great. I've been looking for a really good L322 from 2002 to 2008. In 2005 MY06, they, um, they updated them slightly. They got a different 4.4 litre V8 engine. Uh, but they did run this shape right up until, I think it was around 2014, 2013, 2014. So they were selling this same shape for about 10 years because it was so successful. Um, but yes, it is a Vogue, so in my mind it's a proper Range Rover. The Range Rover Sports are lovely. And I guess like other manufacturers like Porsche... He said, right, what do all 911 buyers partners drive? SUVs. Oh, we'd better bring out an SUV. Um, a lot of people who buy Range Rovers like the name, so they said, well, we'll bring out a Range Rover Sport. And now I don't know how many Range Rovers there are. There's probably four. But uh, this is the original Range Rover. And uh, it is in particularly good condition. It's a big car. It's only, for a five-seater, it's a very big car. It's about two and a half tonnes. It's mainly made from aluminium. It's very, very capable off-road. And I guess this is really what Range Rover or Land Rover set out to do in the first place, which was make a car with, off, with fantastic off-road capability... Um, an incredible on-road. So instead of having whatever it might be, a 420 SEL and an old Land Rover or an old Land Cruiser, you could buy a Range Rover back then. But if you want to have a close look at this car, come in and have a look. We're located in Marrickville. We're at 101 to 103 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. We're contactable on 02 956 We're located only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and we do have in-house finance. Thanks again for watching.